Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy and Promo, and today I'll show you how you're able to fully customize your S Pen experience on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Now this will work with really any Samsung phone that came with the S Pen, even the S21 Ultra, even though you had to slip it inside of a case. So you can go through and you can change what it looks like with your Air Command. You can actually go all the way back to what it used to look like with that little half circle opening up from way back in the day. You can also change the way that your pointer looks if you want it to be the default circle if you want it to be a little arrow, a heart, a whole bunch of different images, even a custom one if you'd like to use. You can also change the sounds of your S Pen when it is ins inserted and also detached. So there are a few of them right here that you can play with, but you can also go through custom. And so I did go through and I have the remove sound and insert sound that I was using. There's some that's already kind of saved in the phone for internal storage. You can actually go through and take a look at, you know, Music Box, Nudge, Shrink Ray, one from Samsung, Ring tones, uh, sweet tennis, things like that. So I did go through and I changed what mine sounded like. And then also too, on the very bottom, uh, besides that, you can change what happens when you double double tap with the shortcut button. So basically that means that if you're to press and hold on the S Pen button and you do a double tap, what would pop up? And for this one, I have this one as screen right. So then this way, maybe if I know for a fact that there is something on the screen and I wanted to share it with somebody, I'd be able to do this and I'd be able to share it and send it off or I can save it to the phone itself. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you send that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So let me show you how you're able to get this unlocked and installed on your phone. So this one is using GoodLock. So GoodLock is found on the Galaxy Store. GoodLock is basically a whole set of a bunch of different modules that has been created by Samsung for Samsung. All these different things gives you a different experience for your Samsung phone so you can really customize it for your needs and how you want it to look and react, things like that. Now, if you live in a different country that does not have good luck, you'd be able to use a VPN service. You'd be able to place yourself in the United States, get it installed, and then get these things downloaded. Now, I also want to let you guys know, a lot of people always ask, why is my S Pen this color? Well, it's because it matches the phone that I have purchased. So a lot of people are wondering if it's a wrap or where did I get this colored S Pen? It just came with the phone. This is that Samsung exclusive red color, even though it looks more salmon. All right, so this is the, the little module that we have used, which is called Pentastic. So again, inside of GoodLock, you wanna go underneath the family tab, go inside of Pentastic. Now this one has not been updated for a while. The last update was uh, back in February. So I'm hoping that maybe that there's gonna be another one, but again, it's really fun to still play with and, and change some things. This is what Air Command looks like right now. So every time you take the S Pen out, this is what it'll look like. Uh, it also has the words. If you just want the little icons, you can make it a little bit more compact. If you know what everything means, you'll be able to pull it out and you can have it look just like that one right there. Now, if you move over, this is the line option. So the line option is just showing you the little icons. It's kind of built up just a little bit differently. Here is the circle. This one was probably a few years ago. Uh, and then also too, we have this one. This is the old style retro. This was from like the Note 1 or Note 2, whatever that one may have been. Uh, so you'd be able to select any of these. So right now I have mine selected as that compact one. And there is also little settings you'd be able to do. So again, inside of this one, let's say you do compact. So once you choose compact, you'd be able to choose if there's like a background or not. You could put like a gallery or whatever the heck. I just leave mine plain. And you can also change the brightness of the background. So if you want your background to be completely black, you can do that. So you can really focus on just what those air commands are. So I kind of went in the middle with this one. And also, too, you can have the blur effect. So it kind of depends. Do you want to see your image behind your air command or not really? So I put my brightness in the middle. I put the blur all the way to the to the very end. And then I hit on use. So as you go through, you're going to notice that some of these will also have uh, pretty much all the different or pretty much all the exact same settings for each different little air command. So this one, again, if you want it to kind of be a black background, uh, you'd be able to go through. You can blur things, things like that. So I already have the one that I would like to use, and that's going to be this compact version right there. Now, this is where you can change your pointer. So if you want your pointer to kind of have a little arrow, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can see what it looks like right there. Uh, so if you don't really want it to be that noticeable, but a different little symbol or icon, you can just go with this one right here, and then you can hit on use. You also have a heart, you have little uh, little icons, little people that you'd be able to use as well. I think that, that would kind of be a little annoying. You can go through and go through customs, so you're going to go through your gallery, things like that. And then you have all of the sounds. So you'd be able to go through, you can actually 
tap on the sound if you'd like to hear what it sounds like. More than likely, you kind of have to put this one up to your ear just to see exactly what it does. That one kind of has a little crocodile sound to it. That one kind of sounds like a little birdie. Uh, then you got these ones right over here. But I went inside of custom and through custom, there was actually some of them that was pretty cool. So here's a tennis one. If you want to, you can tap on it and you can uh, listen to what it sounds like. And then you can also select it if that's the one that you would like to use. So I already have the two that I wanted to have, you know, be selected. So for the remove sound, it does welcome. For the insert sound, it does a shrink ray. So when you place it in and when you take it out, then you'd be able to have a different tone than what was there from before. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna hit on use. So we've already gone through air command, the pointer, the sound, and then now here's that double tap shortcut. So with this one, again, you have to press and hold on the S Pen button, double tap on the screen, and it's gonna open something up. So you can create a note, you can do smart select, Bixby Vision, you have Glance, Coloring, AR Doodle, Pen Up. You have a bunch of different things. You can even open up an application. So if there's a, a specific app you would like to open up, you'd be able to have that open as well. Again, pressing and holding on the S Pen button with a double tap. Now, the one that I have selected is ScreenWrite because I feel that if I'm going to create a note, I can just open up my Air Command, do that Create Note really quick. Screen right is one of those cool things you can use with like the maps. So like Google Maps, you'd be able to literally draw the line that they should take. Maybe if there's a detour, you can actually hit on X to let people know not to go that way. So this is a pretty fun way, a pretty cool module that you'd be able to use uh, for your S Pen on your Samsung Galaxy device. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you appreciated this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.